This video is on cable management. Closets throughout organizations have all the wiring needed to connect systems, basically a place where you can connect the cables and networking devices. These rooms have many names like wiring closet, the telecommunications room, and the network operations center. These telecommunications room contain the key network devices such as hubs, routers, switches, and servers. These rooms also contain the network media such as patch cables that connect network devices to horizontal cables and the rest of the network. Patch panel or patch bay are used interchangeably. It is used to organize wiring. If you ever looked in a telecommunications room, you have probably seen a distribution block, more commonly called a patch panel. A patch panel is a freestanding or wall-mounted unit. A patch panel provides a connection points between network equipment, such as hubs and switches, and the ports to which PCs are connected. And these are normally distributed throughout a building. Fiber distribution panels is just like a patch panel, but it's used for fiber. The difference between the two is that fiber distribution panel is a cabinet intended to provide space for termination, storage, and splicing of fiber connections. Also found in a wiring closet is the punch-down block. A punch-down block is a mechanism used to cross-connect sets of wires through a metal peg system. The wires from telephony or UTP cable are attached to the punch-down block using a punch-down tool. This is a punch-down tool. To use the punch-down tool, you place the wires in the tip of the tool and push it into the connectors attached to the punch-down block. The wire insulation is stripped and the wires are firmly embedded into the metal connector. Because the connector strips the insulation on the wire, it is also known as the insulation displacement connector. Using a punch-down tool is much faster than using a wire strippers to prepare each individual wire and then twisting the wire around a connection pole or tightening a screw to hold the wire in place. In many environments, cable tasks are left to a specialized cable contractor. In others, there's usually admins who must connect the wires to a patch panel. There are two types of punch-down blocks, 66 and 110. Type 66 is an older design used to connect wiring for telephone systems and other low-speed network systems, and it is not widely used as Type 110. 66 has a 50 rows IDC contacts to accommodate 25 twisted pair cable. It was primarily used for voice communications, and although it was approved for Cat5 and greater, it is not suitable for anything greater than 10 base T due to crosstalk problems. In the networking wiring closet, 110 blocks is used to connect network cables to patch panels. 110 connections can also be used at the other end of network cable at the RZ45 wall jack. 110 blocks are the new standard and it is preferred over the 66 blocks because it supports higher frequencies and less crosstalk. And therefore, it supports higher speed networks and higher grade twisted pair cable. Also, in addition to 66 and 110 blocks, there's Kron and Bix blocks. Kron is an insulation displacement connector for telecommunications. It is a proprietary European alternate to 110 block. These two require different blades in the punch-down tool. Kron, for example, requires a separate scissors-like mechanism for trimming the wire. And Bix connectors have a slip-in fitting which automatically strips the wire as it is punched down, eliminating the need for pre-stripping. Bix connector also have pair splitter to facilitate fast arranging of wires on the punch-down block.